I have to put in a coin. Typical. Blocking the view. There must be a way of removing it. That's the fabled Zilberspiegel. Oh, I wish I had time to watch it change color. I've already taken a picture of that view. I wonder what's inside that tent. Dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Zilberspiegel. Zilber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name.
Maintaining the refuge must be a huge job. As tough as Lenny is, I hope she has some help when she needs it. must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. Ah, I see I'm not the only one stuck here. <laughs> ma, pull up a seat and together we can moan about being stuck here. Thank you, but I have things to do. I hope you can stay until this evening, at least. In London, they have the changing of the guard. Here we get the changing of the colors. I guarantee it's worth the wait. Hmm? English? American, actually. Oh, seeing as you've come so far, then... Besides, it's always nicer to be stranded in good company. From Belgium, myself, on a world climbing tour. Stranded? Didn't you know? They've closed the Teufelskragen. That's the path they call the Devil's Pass. So that's what all the fuss is about. All down to climate change. You mean the thaw, right? Made the pass too dangerous to climb and... apparently resulted in a morbid discovery. Oh? Bodies of resistance fighters. Killed while leading refugees to Switzerland. Frozen solid. Resistance fighters? You mean... Frozen since the Second World War? Uh, that's what the paper says. Is that what the tent's for? It's a temporary chapel of rest that the rescue team made while waiting for the bodies to be airlifted out. I see. I guess there's no reason to disrespect the departed, even after all these years. I only hope all this sudden interest from excavationists puts an end to the stupid rumors that a strange creature haunts the Zilberspiegel. Otherwise, you can be sure, as soon as the old lady pops her clogs, this place will become run over by those infernal tourists. What about those frozen bodies they discovered at the foot of Devil's Pass? Well, um, due to climate change, the snow line has receded, revealing the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War. Most probably resistance fighters and exiles, trying to flee the fascist occupiers and reach Switzerland by the pass. Hmm? I imagine they got caught in an avalanche. All wretches have been imprisoned ever since. Until today. That is why the authorities have blocked access to the pass, so they can take the bodies out, identify them, and give them a proper burial. I see. I saw the tent at the foot of the pass through the spyglass outside. Didn't realize it sheltered such a gruesome discovery, though. Can you tell me about this Devil's Pass? Oh, it's on the far side of the Cirque, looking out from the terrace. As you can imagine, it's called Devil's Pass because it's extremely dangerous. Most of all because of the risk of avalanche. Only seasoned alpinists can negotiate it, really. As a professional alpinist myself, what I love about it is knowing I'm climbing in the tracks of courageous climbers of bygone times. There's a real sense of uh, history about it. For example, resistance fighters used it during the war to smuggle Vagherons and uh, other victims of the Brown Shadow into Switzerland. I've had some experience with fantastic fauna myself. But what do you make of the so-called strange creature that roams the mountain? <laughs> Just another local fairy tale to pull in the tourists, if you ask me. They say it lives in prehistoric caves. 
and that it's responsible for people going missing. Ooh. Some even say that the mysterious cries you can hear on some nights are the creature calling for a mate. In other words, the usual twaddle you normally get in remote or uncharted places like uh, the high mountain or the deep sea. <laughs> twaddle passed down from generation to generation through sheer ignorance. Surely, from what I read on the way here, the cries could come from an animal native to the area, couldn't they? That is my thinking exactly. No doubt a bear with something caught in his throat. <laughs> it happens, you know. <laughs> Probably scared a tourist one evening, or... Uh, mm, maybe it was young pranksters. Right. Thanks for cluing me in. Anyway, I better get back to what I was doing. You are welcome, Fräulein. A mechanical stove? Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it. An old <laughs> book? The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann? Funny. My grandparents left me a copy before they died when I was a kid. I should get around to reading it someday. The dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. It must be a lot of work keeping this place going. Hats off to Demoiselle Lenny for managing all by herself. Mm, it's cold in here. Another of those cigar butts. There. But who could have left it open? Must be Lenny's room. Not sure I'm allowed in here, really. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. Sweet. Photos of the refuge. Looks like they're arranged by time period.
There are no photos of the occupation of Wagen by the Brown Shadow. I guess that corresponds to when Lenny and her father had to leave the refuge. These date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. This series ends at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train. That's pretty impressive. Obviously helps Lenny get up and about. Up real, like the ones used on old cinema projectors. I must remember to ask Lenny about it. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. This must be Yunta's coffer, the one Lenny spoke about. Thank you. 
What now, Fräulein? I was just about to doze off. Can you tell me about the resistance medal with your name on it? Sure, I was in the resistance. Not for those medals, though. Nothing but tin charms. You see, there's those who received medals, and those that were killed. And besides, they aren't gonna give me my legs back, are they? No, but they prove you played a part in the liberation of your country. <laughs> Nonsense. Nothing but bad memories. I'd rather not talk about it. About Yunta's coffer. What about it? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, Father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. So he made the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learned when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilene. Valadilene in France? That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. You wouldn't happen to know the combination, would you? I told you before, I don't know it. I'll be going then. Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace.
need a key to open it. A film developing company. They probably developed Yuntas films and sent them back once they were done. Looks like she didn't note down the end of her meeting with Dana. But it might still contain the info I need to open the coffer. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Summer 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. I filled my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge using an old envelope in the meantime. Today invited Dana for a chat after her shift. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine. Same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow. That looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> Rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. Dana, be a darling and put the key somewhere safe. You can't be too careful with these mountain people, especially with that little Lenny sniffing around my equipment all the time. Where do you normally put it? I have a little hiding place over there. Is this where you want me to put the key? Yes, there's a dear. It's a handy hiding place. Who made it? Oh, Herr Gustav. He knows only too well that some customers have their little secrets, you know. Yuntis' key should be safe in there. Just need to finish preparing for the filming tomorrow. Then we can chat away to our heart's content. If you could just fetch me a new roll of film from the darkroom, then we're done.